Okay, people, I have no fucking idea where we are, and I would like to know what happened last time. I, uh, there was, uh, hum, I think we, um, I, uh, there is someone black with, um... You know what? Forget it. I'll manage. I think we had just released a little talking doll or something like that. We're in the sequel now. Poppy Playtime, Chapter 2. It's supposed to be three times the size of the first chapter, with even more mind-numbing puzzles and horrific toys. We need to be careful not to let Mommy find us. More puzzles and creepy toys. But this train station sounds promising. If it's a straight shot out of the factory, that's our ticket out of here. And new toys, Bunzo Bunny, PJ Pugapillar, and Mommy. Doesn't sound like we're in for an easy ride. It's okay to worry, Barack, especially with our team. But this time, Joe is not the one leading the charge. It's me, which means that I will be the best at that. So yeah, anyway, I'm not gonna lie. This little part is easy because I already saw a video of it. But before Joe says anything to fuck up, know that I only saw like two minutes of it, all right? Also, we're trying to do some real full gameplay with no cut, except the moments where I go to eat. Only two minutes, huh? Well, that's reassuring, I guess. Just make sure those two minutes don't end up being the most crucial part we needed to figure out on our own. And as for eating, make sure it's quick. We don't have time to waste in this place. Donald, if you've picked up any useful tips from those two minutes, now's the time to share. A little advanced scouting can't hurt. And don't worry, those two minutes were barely enough to give me an edge, let alone spoil the whole gameplay. As for tips, let's just say I know we need to keep our eyes peeled for certain Playtime elements. Is the certain elements, huh? All right, I'll bite. Let's see this leadership in action, Donald. Just remember, if you lead us into trouble, you're buying dinner once we're out of here. And it better be more than just fast food. If we're doing this, we're doing it right. Full gameplay, minimal cuts, and maximum cooperation. All right, once this VHS is finished, we will go directly to the direction of the train. I wonder where the little poppy doll is. She is probably not very far from here, frankly. This question is not a difficult game, and, uh... Joe, I don't know, since when you are capable of being a little intelligent. Donald, calm down. Now is not the time for jabs. We need to focus on the task at hand. Joe's right, the poppy doll could be close, and finding her might be key to understanding more about this place and how to navigate it. Exactly. Whether it's intelligence or just a hunch, we need to use every advantage we've got. Let's keep our eyes open for the doll and anything else that might help us get to that train. Fine, fine, let's just get moving then, but keep in mind, this factory is full of surprises. We should be prepared for anything, not just following hunches. Agreed, Donald. Preparedness and vigilance are crucial, but let's not discount our intuition either. It's gotten us this far, and it might just be what gets us out of here. Right. Intuition, intelligence, whatever you want to call it, let's use it. Now let's finish up with this VHS and make our way to the train. We've got a doll to find and a... Oh, uh, sorry. And there I was mid-sentence when, bam, that noise could wake the dead. Donald, was that your latest negotiation tactic? Okay, first of Joe, unlike some people, I don't need to drop boxes to make a point. But if we're talking tactics, maybe we should discuss your stealth approach. Quiet as a marching band, aren't we? Also, Poppy that doll, or whatever the fuck this is, she is the one who dropped that box by mistake. Maybe we should strap a bell to you, Donald, make it official. Although I'm not sure the factory could handle the noise. Wait, hold on, did you just say something, Joe? I'm having a hard time understanding every word out of your mouth, honestly. But man, this game, Poppy Playtime, it's something else, right? Super cool. Listen here, Donald, it's not the game that's hard to understand, it's probably just you. Ever consider that the world would be a lot quieter without all your commentary? Listen. And what about I you, Baraka? You to trust me. Wait, Poppy, no! Hold on! You just jumped in there without even knowing if you'd survive? Are you nuts? What? I don't see the problem here. We're in the game, right? Gotta save Poppy no matter what it takes. Donald, I'm with Joe on this one. That jump was reckless. Literally, you could have... Well, let's not dwell on it. Just be glad there was a giant slide at the bottom, like a toboggan. A giant toboggan? A strategic move? Call it what you will? The point is, we're all in one piece, and now we've got a story to tell. Plus, we're one step closer to saving Poppy. Heroes act, gentlemen. That's what heroes do. A story to tell, huh? If we ever get out of here, I'm not sure who's going to believe we followed Donald Trump down a dark hole on a heroic rescue mission. We still need to find Poppy and get out of here. And maybe, just maybe, let's try to avoid any more heroic jumps into unknown dark holes, all right? Fair enough. But hey, you've got to admit... Uh-oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Holy shit, it's Mommy. What? Who are we talking about here? I mean, it's Mommy, the character from Poppy Playtime. 
the one who's got Poppy. This is bad, really bad. Bro, I couldn't care less about the backstory of whatever nightmare we're facing. I just want to get out of here, pronto. I think we should revive Huggy to fuck her ass up. That bitch is probably trying to make her show since Huggy is out of the party. Hold on, everyone. If we're going to save Poppy and ourselves, we need to deal with Mommy. She's the pink toy with those unnervingly long arms and legs, correct? She can stretch them out to incredible lengths, if I remember right. Exactly, and she's not just a regular obstacle, she's clever. Getting past her is going to require more than just running and hiding. Fine, we'll play it your way, but let's make it fast. Every minute we waste is a minute too long in this creepy place. Obey the rules, or I'll tear you apart and eat your insides while you're still alive. <laughs> That's it, I'm sick of that creature. We've got to do something about her. What the hell are you doing, Donald? Stop blowing a fuse and listen. She's got rules, this game she's playing with us. If we want to retrieve Poppy, we need to play along. Now, I'm not sure what kind of game this will be, but we're going to have to figure it out and do something. Yeah, maybe, but if there's a chance to arm ourselves, maybe we should take it. If we find some kind of weapon, I say we use it. What? Well, yeah, why not, if it comes to that? But let's not forget, we're in a game. There might be rules we're not seeing. Let's try to understand this game Mommy Longlegs wants to play. Maybe there's a way to outsmart her. I don't think there's any way to outsmart her, at least for the moment, Joe. Looks like we're forced to do whatever the hell she wants with us. But hey, at least we can still do our stuff here. You sure about that? Maybe we can take advantage of the fact that these legs are elastic. What if we could somehow tie them to each other? Joe, this isn't a cartoon and you're not Luffy. Let's not rely on fantasy strategies here. We need to let Donald play this part and just keep a watchful eye for heaven's sake. All right, all right. But we can't just play her game without keeping an eye out for any opportunity to turn the tables. There's got to be a weakness or something we're missing. Joe, just stop trying to outguess the game. I'm telling you, there's nothing we can do for the moment except play along. It's scripted, bro. Can't you understand that? Or is that too hard for you to grasp, huh? You're right, we must think harder. That's not what I'm trying to say, you fucking idiot. You're not getting it. We can't outthink a scripted game by just thinking harder. Well, as if things couldn't get any worse, it looks like we're about to be tested on musical memory. That's surely the first challenge Mommy Longlegs has in store for us. How's everyone's musical memory? Think you can keep up with the tunes? Musical memory, huh? Well, I'm not exactly a maestro, but I'm willing to give it everything I've got. It's all about patterns, right? We can do this if we really focus. Joe, your memory is as reliable as Barack's urge to solve problems with a drone. First off, I'm the one playing the game, and there's no way I'm passing the control to you. Also, if you even think about trying to force the control from me, I'm out. No offense, but your memory isn't exactly your strongest suit, dude. Like your shit, bro. Just let me handle this. Hey, no need to get personal. I was just trying to offer some support. But if you think you've got this, then by all means, lead the way. Yeah, sure. Anyway, let's see what's on this VHS. It might give us something useful. Looks like we need to craft some kind of green hand. It says it can be used for electricity-related tasks. That could come in handy. A green hand for electricity. This must be how we solve some of the puzzles ahead. It's probably how we'll navigate through areas that were inaccessible before. We need to find the components to craft it. Holy shit, that was gore. All right, let's craft that hand now. Shouldn't be too difficult. There are four buttons we need to press. I'm not in the mood to overthink this, so I'm just gonna press the one that beeps again and again. Simple as that. Oh, and it looks like I'll have to fix some small stuff along the way. Nothing insane, I guess. Just make sure you're not rushing it, Donald. These games are designed to test our patience and attention to detail. Hitting the beeping button sounds straightforward, but make sure we're not missing any cues for those fixes you mentioned. See, this isn't so bad. 
Just a little tweak here and there. We're getting closer to having this green hand operational. I swear that noise is just horrendous. It's like a symphony of nightmares in here. What were you expecting, Joe? Peace and quiet? This isn't the Oval Office. We're in a factory filled with murderous toys, not sitting behind the Resolute desk. It's supposed to be chaotic. And Joe, if you think this is insane, just imagine what kind of monstrosities are lurking in the back kitchen of a US McDonald's. Makes this place seem almost normal, doesn't it? Oh, come on, you two. Between Donald's commentary and Barack's fast food horror stories, I'm not sure what's worse. Let's just focus on getting through this without becoming part of the factory's ambiance, all right? Looks like we just need to collect some paint to finalize our little electric hands. And then, oh joy, we're on to the memory games. I'm laughing now because I really don't want to do that, but there's no way I'm letting Joe take a crack at it. You know, I could have handled it, right? Barack, I know you're probably snacking on something right now. If we left it up to you and your little keyboard, you'd probably fumble it more than Joe. You're not like me. You can't eat and play like a pro. It took me years to master this technique. Can you two just shut the fuck up? It's incredible. We're here trying to save Poppy and all you can think about is who's the better gamer. Let's focus on the task at hand, collect that paint and get these electric hands working. All right, time to collect this hand now. Ah, damn, feels good to have two hands again, especially since that bitch Mommy Longlegs literally cut off my red hands. Now I have blue and green. Super perfect, right? Not my favorite colors, since the blue reminds me of the Democrats and the green of the... Yeah, never mind. Bro, you've got me messed up if you think I didn't catch what you were implying there. Ah, yeah, well, aren't you the clever one? Of course I'm not stupid. I mean, not that stupid, actually. All right, let's head over to the memory color game now. Let's just hope it's not too complicated, otherwise I'm out. I might just rage quit. What the hell? Already thinking of quitting? Well, Joe, unlike you, I've got things to do, all right? Oh yeah? Like what? Uh, well, I, uh, I was supposed to play Lethal Company with my son. Motherfucker, you barely talk to your own son. What are you trying to pull here? All right, all right, you got me. I wanted to watch a movie or two while snacking Welcome on something. Welcome to Happy Musical now? Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues. Wait, hold on. This is not that difficult, actually. This looks so easy. Holy shit. Just wait until you see a lot of those things pop up at once. I don't think there will be only four colors, bro. It's going to get more complicated. Yeah, sure, Joe, sure. But oh fucking hell. It's Mommy Longlegs. She's watching and taunting us from that small watching tower over there. And what's with that small bunny? Shit, it's scary. Bro, that bitch talks way too much. And where the hell did Barack go? I don't know, probably getting pinned by his husband or something. Anyway, I need to zero in once this thing starts. No distractions. Hey guys, you won't believe what I found. A special coupon for Burger King. 70% off every single menu item every day for five years. That's insane, right? Hold on, is that why you disappeared? And why does it have to be you who finds it? Give me that coupon. Donald, you fat piece of shit. You said you need to be focused once the game starts. You got me fuck up if you think I'm handing over this much power to you, Donald. This coupon is a game changer. I don't need to buckle down to win a game like this, unlike you, Joe. My skills are natural. I can multitask and still come out on top. Oh, really? Because last I checked, it takes more than just ego to get through challenges like these. But sure, let's see your natural skills at work, Donald. And while you two are busy proving who's the best gamer here, I'll be planning which Burger King menu to conquer first. It's not like Donald ever steps foot in one, right? Almost never see you at fast food places. Go fuck yourself, Barack. Just remember who's leading the charge in this game. And about that coupon, it should have been mine. 
Everyone knows I appreciate a good fast food feast more than you. This is better than cable. Donald pouting over a coupon and claiming he's the king of fast food and gaming. Just focus, Donald. Your natural skills should make this a breeze, right? I'll show you how it's done, winning the game, and then maybe I'll even teach you a thing or two about enjoying the finer things in life, like a Whopper and your death. What? All hail the king. Just remember, it's all in good fun until someone loses to a game designed for kids. And Donald, when you're ready to admit defeat, I'll share my coupon. Maybe. Yeah, no, never mind. Fuck all of you. I'm keeping it for myself. Typical. Hoarding the loot for yourself. But don't get too comfortable with that coupon, Barack. Once we're out of this game, we're renegotiating its custody. And I don't lose in negotiations. You two and your coupon drama? It's like watching kids fight over the last slice of pizza. Let's just beat this damn game so we can all argue over who gets to hold the precious Burger King treasure. Deal, but for the record, I found it fair and square. Finders keepers, as they say. This is how a true winner does it. And as for the coupon, we'll see about that. I've got a country to run, but there's always time for a Burger King feast. All right, Donald the Great, lead the way. And Barack, make sure to keep that coupon safe. Sounds like it's going to be the prize of the century once we're through here. Consider it under maximum security. Now let's take down Mommy Longlegs and get out of this nightmare. I've got a coupon to use and a victory meal to plan. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. Arguing about that coupon made me lose brain cells, literally. I don't even know when that color memory game will end, seriously. Well, maybe losing a few brain cells was a necessary sacrifice for the greater good of our mission here. Besides, we all know you've got brain cells to spare, Donald. Let's get back to the game and wrap this up. Who knows, maybe there's a brain cell recovery bonus level. No, 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 what the fuck is going on here? There are too many colors and it's too fast. Now that's how you win a game. See guys, I'm the best. Yeah, sure bro, you literally lost your composure with all those colors, but okay. Well, A wins a win, and that was some quick thinking with the button, Donald. Mommy Longlegs isn't happy, and that means we're doing something right. Let's keep this momentum going. Quick thinking and a steady hand, that's the key. And Joe, maybe next time you'll keep up without breaking a sweat. All right, all right, let's not get too caught up. We won, that's what matters. Now let's figure out our next move before Mommy Longlegs decides to throw something even crazier at us. It's okay though, Mommy knows other ways. Seriously though, why the fuck are these toys so bad to us? We haven't done anything, right? Well, us? No, but maybe the character we're playing has done some very bad things in the past, right? I was thinking about that too, but I'm too sleepy to piece it together. Then go to sleep, man. Nah, all good. We've got a game to finish. Bro, what are we supposed to do now? This game is insane. Mommy long legs? More like mommy long loser after that win. But seriously, why are all these toys out for blood? Maybe it's a metaphor, Donald. You know, for all the bad toys in the world. Toys that were left behind, forgotten, and now they're taking their revenge on us. Or perhaps this factory is some twisted version of Toy Story. Instead of going to infinity and beyond, these toys have gone from the playroom to the dark side. Well, if this is Toy Story gone wrong, then consider me Woody, leading the pack to victory. Though frankly, I think I'm more of a Buzz Lightyear, going to places no man has gone before. Yeah, and just like Buzz, you seem to have a bit of trouble distinguishing fantasy from reality. But hey, as long as you keep pressing the right buttons, who am I to argue? At least I'm pressing buttons and making progress, not just philosophizing about our toy overlords. What's your theory, Joe? Why are these toys so hell-bent on making our lives miserable? My guess? It's all a big misunderstanding. Maybe they just need a good talking to, a bit of diplomacy. Worked in the Senate, might work here. Looks like there's some sort of invisible control here. We need to move this thing in the air to get that big toy out of our way. I'll be damned. How in the world did you figure that out? Innovative approach, Donald. Just make sure you're moving it the right way. We don't want to end up blocking our only way out. And that's how it's done. Sometimes you just got to trust your instincts and take control, even if you can't see what you're controlling. Well, your instincts seem to have paid off this time. Let's keep moving before anything else decides to block our way. You know, right now I actually feel more like a worker than a president. Moving stuff, surviving, dodging some crazy toy. Welcome to the club, Donald. Seems we've all swapped roles today from presidents to players in a game with its own twisted rules. It's quite the shift, isn't it? Just goes to show, no matter your title, sometimes you've just got to get down to business, even if it involves a chase with a less than friendly toy. I didn't exactly envision this kind of hands-on work. Presidency is tough, but this, 
This is another level. Look at it this way, Donald. It's an extreme team building exercise. Survive this and we're set for anything. Let's think of it as a crash course in resilience, teamwork, and a bit of humility. Not every day you outplay an army of rogue toys. Well, there's a first for everything. All right, onward we go. Who knows, I might just end up adding Toy Tamer to my list of accolades. Bro, I truly feel like I'm playing a different game now. Most of my tasks are about electrical stuff and, you know, is this Among Us or something? I mean, it's just moving around and unlocking doors, of course, but you might be onto something. Maybe the game's trying to teach us the importance of teamwork and vigilance, or maybe it's just messing with us. Well, if we start finding tasks to fix wiring or eject imposters, we'll know for sure. Until then, let's just keep our focus on the objective. Who knew the path to saving Poppy would turn us into makeshift electricians and detectives? If I start seeing any suspicious meetings or emergency buttons, I'm calling it. But seriously, navigating through this maze, dealing with all these gadgets, it's like a crash course in electrical engineering. Who designed this game, Tesla? Just be glad we're not voting each other out. Stick to the wiring, Donald, you're doing just fine. And remember, if you see any toy acting sus, let us know. Exactly. Let's stay united. No imposters among us. Just a team trying to outsmart a game that's thrown more curves than a World Series pitcher. And Donald, maybe after this you'll have a new appreciation for the unsung heroes who keep the lights on. And when we're done, I'm expecting an honorary degree in electrical engineering, or at least a certificate of completion from this crazy game. Well, looks like it's time to see what next game Mommy Longlegs has in store for us. I wonder what it will be, though. Knowing our luck, it's probably something like Extreme Hide and Seek, where if you get found, you don't just lose, you get turned into a toy. Or maybe it's a giant maze made of puzzles, and every wrong turn sends you back to the start, except each time with a different ridiculous costume. Imagine navigating through that in a chicken suit. You think that's wild? Let me tell you about the time I got locked in a department store overnight when I was a kid. I ended up playing my own version of Hide and Seek with the security guards. Just me, dodging between clothing racks and mannequins. Feeling like I was the star of my own adventure movie makes this seem almost normal by comparison. That's nothing. What if Mommy Longlegs challenges us to a dance-off? You know, where the floor lights up and you have to hit the right moves or face her wrath? I've got moves you've never seen. I'd pay good money to see that, Donald. But honestly, whatever comes our way, I think we've proven we can handle it. Even if it means outdancing animated toys. Exactly. We've faced down everything else she's thrown at us. What's a little dance-off or a night spent evading capture? We've got this. Oh my fucking god, have you guys seen that? Yeah, I saw that. There's a giant flying burger, bro. Like, what the hell? No, I'm not talking about that. And what the hell are you saying? It's some kind of whack, but with Huggy Wuggy this time, and knowing that most of the toys here want us dead, well, I guess this will be the extreme version of this game. I'll need to be focused if I don't want to die. All right, let's stay sharp. If it's Huggy Wuggy we're dealing with, and an extreme version at that, we need a plan. No distractions, not even flying burgers, Joe. Got it. The flying burger can wait. Let's concentrate on surviving this game. Huggy Wuggy or not, we've gotten through everything else. We can handle this, too. We'll need to outsmart it. Use our surroundings to our advantage. Keep your eyes peeled for anything that might help us get through this. And remember, staying alive is the only option. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. The toy oh yeah, of course she's still watching and rambling on. Let's just ignore her and so gear up for this next game. But hey guys, I'm not gonna lie, this next part true. might be a bit tricky for me. My screen's luminosity is dialed way down, so spotting those Huggy Wuggies popping out might be tougher than we think. Can't you just adjust it, crank up the brightness a bit? Yeah, I could, but no. I've spent ages getting my settings just right. You know, the best of the best. I'm not about to mess with them now, even if it means playing at a disadvantage. Donald, this isn't the time for perfectionism with your screen settings. It's about adapting to the situation. What's the point of having the best settings if you can't see what's coming for us? He's got a point, Donald. Sometimes you've got to adjust to the challenges as they come. Think of it as tweaking your strategy for the greater good. 
And who knows, you might even discover a new best setting in the process. Guys, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to focus here. Bro, what the hell is your problem? This isn't our fault. You could have just adjusted the brightness of your screen a bit. Let's not lose sight of what we're here to do. We've got a game to beat, and we can't do that if we're at each other's throats over screen settings. Bro, this part is so hard. Bro, that reminds me of a story about a- Joe, this is not the time. Can't you guys help me or guide me here? No on that, Donald, I would, but I just remembered I promised myself I'd never intervene in a situation involving, let's say, overly complicated virtual challenges on Tuesdays. Seriously, that's the reason you're going with? Come on, guys, I really could use a hand here. All right, Donald, let's focus. Maybe your so hard part isn't as impossible as you think. Just take a deep breath and let's tackle it step by step. This is fucking ridiculous. How is anyone supposed to predict that move? We need to cool our heads. Acting like headless chickens is getting us nowhere, especially with wild, baseless moves. Look, we're all pissed, but hurling insults isn't going to crack this level. We need a plan, not just aimless hope and guesswork. Fine, you think you've got a smarter approach? Let's hear it. Because so far, it's been nothing but a circus of fuck-ups. This whole thing's a disaster. We're supposed to be a team, but it feels like I'm surrounded by amateurs. Amateurs, please. I've been carrying this team on my back while you've been busy blaming everyone but yourself. You're both acting like children. This isn't how gamer behaved. We're better than this, or at least I thought we were. That's right. Give me that card, you stupid bitch. Hey, Barack, could you buy me a free menu at Burger King next time we see each other? Sure. Wait, what? How? What about me? To be honest, I'm currently disgusted with you, Donald, like you've literally just become a talking orange piece of shit. So I tell myself that if I feed you, you'll only look like a bigger piece of shit. Well, look at that. I can actually walk without getting killed by something scary now. Oh, like dodging your own shadow? I bet you two have some epic battles. Oh, come on, Joe. At least I know how to face my shadows. Not like someone who trips over them in broad daylight. Face your shadows, please. I heard your shadow filed for a restraining order. Can't handle the heat, huh? Heat? If we're talking heat, Joe, you wouldn't last two seconds in a sauna without turning into a human pretzel. So how about you shut the fuck up and choke on your ice cream? That's rich coming from you, fat orange diabetic shit. Maybe if you spent less time worrying about your tan and more on the game, you wouldn't be the butt of every joke here. The only joke here is thinking you could navigate this game better than me. Maybe if we replaced the controller with a bicycle, you'd stand a chance. And maybe if the game was about dodging taxes, you'd finally score a win, huh? But here we are, playing on a level playing field, and look who's struggling. Barack, is that you? Fuck off, Donald. It's only a shadow, not me. Oh no, I'm so dead now. This is it, folks. Wait, what? Well, shit, that was strange. Did not see that coming. I didn't realize there was a girly version of Huggy Wuggy in this game. Adds a whole new level of weird to the mix. And she just vanished? What the hell? This game's throwing curveballs weirder than a late night tweet storm. Speaking of weird, Donald, I bet you two had a moment there, a connection maybe? Should we start calling you Huggy Trumpy? Very funny, Joe. At least I'm not the one fucking my own shadows. Well, if we're handing out nicknames, I think Huggy Trumpy has a nice ring to it. Maybe it'll catch on after tonight. Yeah, I can see it now. Huggy Trumpy and the pink surprise. Could be the headline of tomorrow's news. Keep it up and I'll make sure the next surprise is exclusively for you two. Prison full of orange people hugging you. Just don't drop the soap. So, Marcus, what happened? I don't know about you guys, but I swear I've seen that character before. Maybe it's a YouTuber or something? Yeah, it does kind of remind me of someone. Can't pin it down exactly like you, Donald, but there's definitely a familiar vibe there. Nah, you're both off. It's clearly a drug dealer. Just look at those eyes wandering around here like he owns the place. Joe, what the fuck is your problem? Not everything's a conspiracy, you know? 
Joe, that's quite the accusation. Got a bit of a wild imagination tonight, don't we? Hey, you've got to call it like you see it. But seriously, if we start seeing any suspicious packages, I'm blaming Huggy Wuggy. All right, let's cut the crap. Joe, your conspiracy theories are about as solid as my last haircut, and that's saying something. Donald, comparing anything to that bird's nest on your head is just unfair, but hey, at least you're consistent, consistently full of shit. And here I was, thinking we were playing a horror game, not starring in a comedy roast, but if we're comparing haircuts, I'm just glad I'm not in the running. Barack, staying out of the haircut contest is probably the first smart move you've made tonight. And Joe, at least my bird's nest has more style than your... What do we call that, a hair plug homage? Hair plug homage? Fuck me, that's rich. Coming from the man who made spray tan and comb overs a presidential look. Well, at least we found common ground making fun of each other's looks. But seriously, Donald, that tan does make you easy to spot in the dark. Useful for this game, I guess. Useful, huh? Maybe I should start marketing it as a gamer's advantage. And Joe, maybe you can endorse it. Show off that distinguished gentleman vibe you're going for. Endorse your gamer's advantage? I'd rather endorse socks with sandals as the next big trend. At least that has some dignity. Dignity? Joe, you wouldn't know dignity if it hit you in those aviator glasses. Speaking of trends, how's that lost in my own Senate look working out for you? That's a low blow, even for you, Donald. But if we're talking endorsements, I'm still waiting for my offer to lead the cool President's Club. I assume my invitation got lost in the mail? Oh, it's on its way, Barack. Just got delayed in the same pile as Donald's tax returns. You know, the pile marked fiction. That's rich, coming from Mr. I promise not to fall asleep during meetings. But hey, if you're leading the cool president's club, guess we'll have to rename it Naptime Central. All right, let's tackle this mommy long legs fiasco. And Joe, try not to get us tangled up in your own web of confusion, all right? Donald, the only web here is the one you spin every time you open your mouth. But don't worry, I'll cut us free if you get too wrapped up. Just remember, if we run into any sticky situations, we can always count on Donald's glowing presence to light the way. Who needs a flashlight when you've got a human beacon? You see, gentlemen, it's my glowing personality that's going to light our way to victory. And Joe, you're on dinner duty after this. After wrestling with Mommy Longlegs, we'll be starving. Fuck off, Donald. I'm not paying for your dinner. Hell, I can barely cover my own expenses right now. Joe, since when are you the poor man in the room? I mean, sure, you might be the least wealthy here, but I'd have pegged Barack as the one watching his wallet, considering his husband, sorry, I mean Michelle, probably runs the finances. In another dimension, maybe, Donald. But in this one, Michelle is my wife, not my husband, you fucking asshole. And trust me, she knows how to handle more than just the checkbook. And speaking of handling, maybe we should see if Donald can handle Mommy Longlegs without running for the hills. I'd pay good money to see that. Joe, I've handled worse than Mommy Longlegs in my sleep. And after I lead us to victory, you'll be opening that wallet of yours, even if it's just moths flying out. And I'll be there to capture the moment. We'll make it a pay-per-view event. Donald versus the Mommy Longlegs. We could use the proceeds to buy our victory dinner. Yeah, and we'll split the profits. 50% for me, 25% for Barack and we'll give Donald his usual cut, just enough to cover his hair maintenance. My hair's perfect, Joe, but I appreciate the concern. Maybe we can use my cut for a new pair of aviators for you. Something to hide the disbelief when I single-handedly save our asses. As long as we're making deals, let's agree that no matter who ends up paying, we're getting something better than fast food. I don't think my stomach can handle another round of dollar menu diplomacy. Dollar menu diplomacy? Damn, Barack, you got away with words. But all right, no fast food. Let's aim for something that won't have us running faster than Donald from a debate. Bro, who the fuck made this game? I mean, seriously, I've got a laundry list of problems here. Bugs, glitches, you name it. I think it's just you, Donald. Maybe you just suck at this. Come on, Donald, it's not- Shut the fuck up and listen, will you? Do you guys hear that? There's a shit ton of people walking somewhere. I can hear it. Yeah, that's weird. I can hear it too. What the hell kind of level is this? Sounds like we're about to crash a goddamn party. A party or an ambush, either way, it sounds like we're not alone. This game's full of surprises. What the fuck did we get ourselves into? If it's an ambush, they don't know who they're messing with. 
will crash their party and turn it into a nightmare. Just lead the way and let's be ready to throw down. Throw down? With what? Harsh language? Unless you've got a secret weapon hidden in that hair, we might need to be a bit more strategic. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck. Holy shit, did you guys see this? I didn't even realize this monster with a shitload of legs was lurking right here. Looks kind of cute though, doesn't it? Even if it's probably here to tear us apart. Cute? So that thing's about as cute as a talking shit. But sure, Donald, if you want to adopt it, be my guest. Just make sure it's house trained. We don't need more messes to clean up. Well, if cute's what we're calling it now, I guess we've seen it all. Just remember, looks can be deceiving. This cute critter might be our ticket to the next level or our express pass to getting our asses kicked. This level's going to be a piece of cake. Parkour's my thing. You'll see, I'll navigate these obstacles like a pro. You and parkour, don't get me wrong, but the idea of an orange jumping bean excelling in agility is, let's just say a stretch. I mean, I've seen more grace from a refrigerator tumbling downstairs. Well, if Donald's our parkour expert, I guess we're in for quite the show. Just make sure the game's physics are set to fantasy mode, Donald. We wouldn't want reality to get in the way of your talents. Laugh all you want, but when I'm breezing through this level, you'll be eating your words. And Joe, comparing me to a refrigerator? At least refrigerators keep things fresh. Something you might want to consider next time you open your mouth. Oh, I'll keep it fresh, all right? Freshly amazed if you make it past the first jump without face planting. But hey, I'll be here to cheer you on, or, you know, call for medical assistance. I'll get the camera rolling. This is going to be one for the history books. The day Donald Trump defied gravity in all common sense. Can't wait to see it. Just watch and learn, gentlemen. I'm about to turn this game on its head, and when I do, I expect a full apology served with a side of humble pie. Make it a large, Joe. You're going to need it. Like learning from you? Bro, I'd rather watch a dancing potato than witness your shit. At least the potato's got rhythm. A dancing potato? Joe, I didn't realize you were into such highbrow entertainment. But if we're comparing performances, I'd say you stumbling through this game is more like a potato in quicksand, slow and inevitable. Well, if we're stuck watching performances, I'm betting on the dancing potato. Sorry, Donald, it's got more appeal. And Joe, maybe we can find a game level with dancing vegetables, give you some real competition. Appeal, Barack? Really went for the low-hanging fruit there. But sure, bring on the dancing veggies. It'll still be more graceful than Donald trying to parkour. Might learn a thing or two about agility. Oh, I'll show you agility, and when I do, I expect you two to start your own dance off. Maybe call it the presidential shuffle, I'll judge. Agility, Donald, please, you're about as nimble as a sick turtle navigating an ice rink. It's like watching slow motion in real life. That's hilarious coming from you, motherfucker. Aren't you the one who can't seem to tackle stairs without making it a whole dramatic event? Every five minutes, it's like a suspense thriller on those steps. Well, if we're handing out awards for agility, I think we might all be in the running for most likely to cause a public spectacle. But Donald taking on parkour, that's a headline I'd pay to see. Donald, if you're the benchmark for agility, then I'm an Olympic gymnast, and those stairs, they're just my warm-up act. The only rings you'd be jumping through are the ones in your own stories. But don't worry, when I ace this level, I'll dedicate my victory to the Stairmaster himself. Stairmaster, I like that. Maybe we should get custom titles. Donald can be the parkour phenomenon, and I'll be, well, the sensible one who avoided turning this into a circus act. Sensible? In this game? That ship sailed the moment we picked up the controllers. But all right, parkour phenomenon, show us what you've got. Just make sure there's a net below. Wouldn't want you bruising more than your ego. Well, I'll be damned, Donald actually made it. Though that looked about as legitimate as a $3 bill. Come on, Donald, confess. It was rigged, wasn't it? Rigged? Joe, I prefer the term strategically enhanced. Besides, in this game, it's survive or be killed by mommy long legs. And it looks like she's got a particular vendetta against me. Can't blame a guy for leveling the playing field. Strategically enhanced, huh? That's one way to put it. I guess we now know that even in video games, Donald finds a way to bend the rules. But I've got to admit, it was clever. 
Mommy Longlegs really did seem out for blood. Yours specifically. Out for blood or not, that was some Houdini level escape, Donald. I didn't know whether to be impressed or call for an investigation. But hey, in the end, if Mommy Longlegs wants you, she's gonna have to be a bit more cunning. Investigation? Please, let's not sour my moment of triumph with talk of inquiries. We all know the real challenge was surviving. And if bending the rules a bit keeps me out of Mommy Longlegs' clutches, then consider me a contortionist. A contortionist with an asterisk next to his victory, but a contortionist nonetheless. Just remember, Donald, in the real world, there are no cheat codes. But for this game, I suppose we'll let it slide just this once. There's always a cheat code, bro. Everyone knows it, and you should too, Barack. You were literally the president before me. Come on, man. Anyway, I've got a feeling that the next time we run into Mommy Long Legs, she's gonna curse us or really mess us up. That's so sus when you put it like that, Donald. It's like you're inviting trouble. Listen, Joe, it's not my fault if your mind is as corrupt as, I don't know, the worst person in the world. I'm just stating the facts here. We need to be on our toes or we're done for. Well, if we're bringing corruption into it, I'd say this game's given us all a run for our money. But let's focus on the task at hand. Dodging curses and whatever else Mommy Longlegs throws our way, it's all in a day's work for us, right? Hey, Donald, bro, what the fuck are you doing? What? I'm just grabbing a quick bite. A man's gotta eat, right? We've been waiting on you for two hours, man. What the hell are you eating that takes that long? A five-course meal? All right, all right, I'm back. Happy now? Jesus, can't even take a snack break without you two going nuts. It's like I'm babysitting. Babysitting? Donald, you're the only baby here needing two hours for a snack. What did you do, cook a Thanksgiving dinner? Well, if he's cooking, I hope he's sharing. But seriously, Donald, next time just bring the snacks to the game. We can have a picnic while battling Mommy Longlegs. And why should I listen to you, Mr. Too Good for a Burger King meal? Since when did you become the culinary expert? Here we go again. Can't go five minutes without circling back to fast food. It's like I'm stuck in a bad diner with you two. Seriously, Donald, you're still on that? I thought we'd move past the Burger King saga, but fine, if it'll keep the peace, next time we'll throw in a Whopper for you. Happy? A Whopper, huh? Now we're talking. See, negotiation works, gentlemen, but let's make it a double. After all, battling Mommy Long Legs is hungry work. A double Whopper for the double trouble here. All right, Donald, you've got your meal. Just make sure you don't get crumbs all over the controller next time. Shit, I fell. What the hell is this place? Who designed this? It's like a trap set just for me. Well, considering this place is literally in ruins, I'd say falling is part of the charm. You know, adding a bit of realism to our adventure. Or did you think Parker was all about graceful leaps and bounds? Realism? Joe, if I wanted realism, I'd go for a jog out. Holy shit, that bitch scared me. I asked you to play fair, and you cheated. I hate cheaters. Now, we're going to play one last game. It's called Hide and Seek. What the? Ding. Holy shit, no, I hate hide and seek, especially when it's a crazy woman chasing me. This is not my idea of a good time, guys. Yeah, being chased by a toy is definitely not high on my list of fun activities. And did you guys see her eyes when she started counting, like looking into a nightmare? Absolutely chilling. Honestly, I'd rather not think about that. That shit was scary as fuck. It's one thing to play a game. It's another to feel like you're about to become part of its haunted lore. Well, nightmare or not, we've got to beat this. No crazy toy, no matter how terrifying, is gonna keep me from winning. We just need a plan that doesn't involve becoming permanent residents of this horror show. You guys are crazy if you think there's a flashlight strategy that's going to save us here. It's run or be killed, literally. This isn't a game of hide and seek, it's a sprint for survival. You're not wrong, Donald. It might just boil down to who can run faster. But remember, it's not just about speed, it's about wits, too. We need to be smart about this, not just fast. Lucky it's a game. In real life, there's no way I'd fit through that hole. Not with these muscles. Muscles, huh? I thought it was all those steak dinners catching up, but hey, if you say it's muscle, who am I to argue? Yeah, sure, Donald. We'll all pretend it's just those biceps and not the burgers making the difference. And what about you, Barack? Got any fitness tips, or are you just gonna stand there and critique my impeccable physique? My only tip? Maybe lay off the muscle-building desserts, but hey, whatever works for navigating digital obstacles, right? 
Really funny, Barack, I'll have you know, this muscle gets me through more than just digital obstacles. And for your information, those desserts are protein packed. Protein packed? Donald, the only thing those desserts are packed with are calories, but don't worry. We'll wheel you through the tight spots if we have to. Got any butter to grease him up, Barack? Butter Joe, I think we might need something a bit stronger. How about we just find a cheat code to shrink Donald down? Might be our safest bet. Mock me all you want, but out here facing this digital hell, your jokes are the least of my worries. I'm out here playing dodgeball with death itself. And you two, cracking wise like we're at a stand-up show. Oh, lighten up, Donald. You've wrangled tougher crowds than this. What's a little digital doom compared to the boardroom battles you boast about? Or is this the one time you can't tweet your way out of trouble? Bro, this game is destroying my mental right now. I mean, how the hell am I supposed to know when to run or when she's gonna pop up? It feels like this is scripted to mess with me specifically. Oh, come on, Donald. You think the game's got it out for you? Maybe it's just trying to teach you about unpredictability, you know, like a surprise press conference, but with more running and less talking. It might feel scripted, but that's the thrill of it, Donald. It's about a... What did I fucking tell you? It's scripted, holy shit, I have to hide. Her laughs, they're horrible when she's chasing. What a demon. Holy shit, lucky I planned that place to hide, guys. Looks like my instincts are as sharp as ever. Did you see that? She went right past me. I'll admit that was some quick thinking, Donald. Never thought I'd say this, but your hide and seek skills might just save us. Just remember, it's a team effort. We all need to be one step ahead of her. Good job on finding a hiding spot. It's about using our heads, finding the patterns, and staying one move ahead. Donald, you've got the instincts. Let's keep using them to navigate this maze. Hmm, everything looks good now. The monster is out of view. I guess I can move a bit more freely. Let's not waste any time, gentlemen. Easy there, Donald. Don't let your guard down just because she's out of sight. These games have a way of throwing curveballs just when you think you're safe. Well, I just have to make this shit work. And we're all good, I guess. It's just one more puzzle piece in this crazy game. You know, this reminds me of a time back in, oh, it must have been 76 or maybe 77. There was this situation, not unlike what we're facing now. Joe, buddy, as much as I love a good trip down memory lane, we might want to stay focused here. And there we were, just a couple of guys, no idea how we were gonna get out of this jam. But you know what we did? We stuck together, found a solution out of nowhere. It's all about resilience, Donald, that's the key. Anyway, it was a hot one, I'll tell you that. We were out by the lake, a bunch of us, no real plans other than enjoying the day and maybe getting into a little bit of mischief. We found this old rowboat, see, half sunken and looking more like a death trap than a vessel. But to us, it was a pirate ship, a vessel for adventure. So we decided to fix it up. We didn't have much. Some old planks, a couple of rusty nails and more enthusiasm than sense. It was a disaster waiting to happen, but we were too caught up in the excitement to care. Joe, that's a great trip down memory lane, but... Hold on, Donald, the best part's coming. So there we were in our ship, not a clue among us how to actually row. We ended up going in circles. Shut the fuck up with your story about whatever. I'm getting chased here. We need to focus, not trip down memory lane. All right, all right, Donald, point taken. Let's zero in on the game. What's our next move? The next move would be for you to stop telling us some random story, like literally, Joe, you are fuck up. Bro, there's no way that bitch is still there. I gotta run. You know, this reminds me of a time back in... Joe, stop that for heaven's sake. Joe, now's really not the time. We've gotta focus. Stories can wait until we're out of the danger zone. Got it, got it. No stories. Let's just get through this. This is insane, I can't shake her, she's relentless. Donald, remember it's about outsmarting her, not just outrunning her. Look for obstacles you can use to your advantage. Bro, We're what right the behind fuck is you. This? Guys, I think I pooped myself. What? All right, this time I got this. Here we go, I'm the best and you're just a mommy with tiny legs. You can't catch the big D Donald. I dodge, weave, and leave mommy long legs eating my dust. There's no way she's catching up with the big D Donald. Speed and strategy, gentlemen. That's how we win this. 
Now, Donald, just remember. Hold up, Joe. I'm all for advice, but let's keep it to the kind that moves us forward. Not the kind you'd find in a retirement home brochure. We need action, not anecdotes. Let's not underestimate our opponent here. Donald, your enthusiasm is infectious, but this game is about more than just outrunning, it's about outthinking. And Joe, your experience could be just what we need to outmaneuver her. Holy shit, safety finally. Thought I'd never shake her off. This has got to be the sweetest victory lap ever. Managed to outwit and outrun her. Guess there's a first time for everything, huh? No fucking way, she's still here. Come on, open faster, you fucking bitch. Bro, why is that door taking so long to open? Oh my god, Donald, be careful. Joe, it's okay, I can't. Holy shit, no! Joe, can you shut your mouth, bro? Your panicking isn't helping. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, yeah, that's right, take that, you whore. What have you done? You make me part of it. I'm not gonna lie, guys. She was kind of hot until she wanted to murder us. Joe, what the fuck is wrong with you and... Well, would you look at that? Looks like someone else will be dealing with her in another manner now. Holy. Did you see the size of that hand? Looks like Mommy Longlegs has problems of her own. That's one way to solve our problem. The enemy of our enemy, huh? But let's not wait around to thank whoever that was. Time to leave this place indeed. Right, no looking back. Let's make a run for it while they're busy with each other. Let's get to that train station before anything else decides we're its next target. This is it then, we're almost out of here. We need to move like we've never moved before. Stealth and speed are key. We can't afford any mistakes now, not when we're this close to getting out. Poor kid, she's been through a lot. All right, Poppy, time to wake up. We're here to take you to safety. You've got a whole team looking out for you now. Easy. Easy? You literally took 10 minutes to figure that shit out. I bet you're gonna cut all that struggle out of your video, huh? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Joe. The audience only needs to see the success, not the preparatory phase. Yeah, sure, sure. Preparatory phase. That's one way to put it, orange creature. Just admit it, you were as lost as a kid in a candy store. Hey, being lost in a candy store isn't the worst thing. Better than being stuck on a train with no clue how to operate it, courtesy of Mr. I-Know-It-All over here. Oh, come on, Donald. Admit it. You were sweating bullets trying to get that code in. I saw that panic in your eyes. Reminded me of a deer caught in the headlights. I was so scared she'd put me back in that case. But you saved me. You are perfect. Too perfect to lose. I'm sorry. What the fuck is that imp doll talking Why about now? Donald, shut up. Now's not the time. I what? I can't talk now? Like Since when did we start <laughs> censoring opinions in this game? You know? Guys, let's not turn on each other. We've got bigger problems than deciphering doll speak or deciding who gets to talk. Looks like Poppy the doll is quite mess up. Holy oh shit, God, guys, the train is going crazy. Holy I can't shit, control Donald, it. I Joe Thomas, the train again. is going Shut down. Up, I repeat, true. Thomas, the train is going down. What the fuck is this? I didn't sign up for Mexico train. How did this even happen? I'm trying everything here, but it's like the controls have a mind of their own. What the, who the fuck shitted himself here? Hmm, play care, well shit. Looks like we're in Ohio now.